the legality of stem cells in the United States. Let's talk about this because this is a frustrating one. Um, still a lot of myths out there. I've touched on it, I believe a couple times in, in separate videos, but this one I wanted to make just a pure dedication to what's the state of the legality of stem cells because we still hear things from they're completely illegal. Uh, you can't get them at all here in the US. You have to go overseas. And I feel a lot of this is perpetuated by overseas clinics and reps say telling people Oh no, you can't get that. That's that you have to come here to wherever, Thailand, South America, Mexico. Um, and I just think a lot of confusion from maybe people that are interpreting, think that they can interpret the law correctly. Um, they read it on a, a Facebook group or a forum and they heard it from somebody else and they're just regurgitating that. So. First and foremost, there has never been any law in the US that says the use of stem cells are illegal, whether for research or, or clinical use. Where it gets a little sticky is that, but especially here in the States, companies, uh, you can set up a lab and you can make a commercialized product that is intended to be distributed and marketed for doctors and clinics to buy. So, you know, if, if Bruce's stem cells makes a stem cell product and I buy it and I use it on my patients, that's allowed as long as Bruce's stem cell lab follows certain FDA rules. So that's where I think a lot of people are saying, oh, they're illegal because those labs can't have live stem cells in them. They can't grow and expand the cells. They can't take an umbilical cord and go, all right, let's make a billion cells out of the, all the cells from this umbilical cord. Let's grow them for a certain amount of time, put them in an incubator, let them culture and grow, change the media. They can't do all that stuff and then go and sell it to a doctor or someone like myself and go, here's stem cells. You can use these on your patients. So yes, that is illegal according to how the FDA has their rules set up for these commercial labs. However, if you're doing something unique like what we're doing where we are growing and culturing these cells so that we can get billions of them so that we can use higher doses more appropriate doses for chronic conditions and diseases and that's so we can make a lot so we can treat more people and you're only using that in the confines of your own clinic and in regulations of my medical license then that's where things like my lawyers say things like, well, you're completely in your own right. So it's important to ask the doctor, the clinics, like, is this, is this legal for you? So when it comes to are stem cells illegal in the U S no, they're absolutely not. Um, there's been all kinds of different stem cell treatments for the past decades and from very common ones, like patients undergoing chemotherapy and radiation, and then that kind of wipes out their immune system, you know, in a, in a cancer patient. And then you can do a bone marrow transplant and you can try to repopulate that patient's immune system. Um, so those have been going on for a long time. There was a, a very profound case in California where a, a, a plastic surgeon was taking a, a, an adipose sample, a fat sample from a patient harvesting the cells, growing them out so that he had a higher, what we call a yield or, or, or a higher number of these cells. And then he was doing his aesthetics treatments, his plastic surgery treatments with these stem cells. And the FDA said, no, hey, you can't do that. Well, a judge said, no, you, he absolutely can. There's no reason why he can't do that. He's doing everything inside of his own clinic. He's not trying to distribute or sell the cells that he's culturing as a drug or with an intended purpose to treat, or he's not distributing them and marketing them. Um, and so they ruled in his favor. And that was a really big case here in the regenerative medicine uh, field. There's no reason where you have to go overseas. 
If you want to, if you find a better clinic or if you want to travel somewhere, that's great. But don't do it because a word of mouth said that you absolutely can't get it done here in the States. Now we are unique because we were the first stem cell clinic in the US private clinic to provide live umbilical cord tissue derived stem cells. Um, but I think a lot more are, are gonna follow suit and, and start doing it over the years. So it'll probably become much more abundant. For now, I'm, I believe that we're the only ones or one of the few that are offering what we're offering because it is a lot more common legally to see adipose fat tissue or bone marrow stem cells used in a procedure but then you have to have the surgical procedure to have those cells removed they don't have very high numbers there's some research showing that depending on your age that's not the best option for you so that's why we are so popular for using umbilical cord derived tissues uh, live cells from umbilical cord derived uh, tissue so hope that helps you keep the comments coming and keep subscribing to us for more uh, info on stem cell related news and regenerative medicine news and health in general. And we'll see you in the next video.